to be the like, like there was this thing like this like, like every like guy that did martial arts um growing up they, they almost had like this aura around them like oh he's the boxer like uh like they they come like they had a little bit of bicep pain and like we didn't lift mm -hmm. and uh we were all teenagers but, like that's the boxer who goes to the gym you know they, they ha you have this certain aura because you know discipline uh when you have like or anything else for that matter like you know that's this one is maybe a chess champion something you would know like discipline like i don't know for the good people i would say it really you know at least that's me like when i see someone that's highly disciplined and do something like they autom you automatically respect them like or your level of respect for them goes way 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 up at least that's for me yeah you know it's it's funny that we um that that you should say that because you know how like um, if you go into a room and you have um, <clears throat> you have athletes, you have professional athletes, you have uh, famous actors, you have famous businessmen. And yeah. but if you have the heavyweight champion of the world in a combat sport in boxing, for example, yeah. everyone's going to gravitate and respect the, you know, like yeah. the fighter. The fighter is the one that gets like all the, you know, like he has that aura about him, like you said, and everybody like kind of, I wouldn't say bow down to him, but they revert him. They're like, oh, this guy, there's yeah. something special, you know, whereas, ah, okay, you're a businessman, you make money, so what? Uh, okay, you, yeah. you throw a basketball around. Yeah, okay, good, you know, uh, you're an actor. Okay, you're famous and you, you know, you could act, but, oh, you're, you're the guy who, who could literally like, you know, beat the living hell out of everybody in this yeah. room if you wanted to. It's kind of like a primal thing. Somebody talked about this. I forgot where I got this, but they were giving this exact example. And there's something primal about being able to, being that guy in the room that could literally, if you wanted to, dominate everybody else physically. Yeah. And there would be nothing you can do about it. Nothing. You would be like a helpless baby child. You know, so that I also yeah. explain. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, sorry. Ah, no, no. oh, uh, excuse me. Uh, that also explains the um, like the misconception. There's this misconception that you know bodybuilders are very scary fighters, mm -hmm. but uh, for, and those that you know like are like uh, roided up and they're really big. Like I'm talking like IFBB pros type of bodies. Like when they go into the mall or the I, everyone is like, okay, oh, I'm I, I like then a lot of people. Like their insecurities tends to shoot like way up. Like that guy is not only stronger than me, but they can beat me up. Obviously, now with martial arts, you know that it's not always the case. Uh, but uh, you know, yeah, like as you said, there's this primal thing, um, like the, the stronger guy in the room, or like the tallest, or, or you know, the guy who with the ears, you know, they can fight. Mm -hmm. um, it, it yeah, it tends to draw this particular it gives a different impression than someone who's a champion in like, as you said, basketball. Okay. He can dribble, but okay, it's fine. It's not going to affect me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause there's, there's a little like danger to it. You know, there's like a little fear. There's a little danger yeah. that, you know, that there's a potential danger. Yeah. There, you know, and then, so that's why people look up. But then add to like, for example, if you are the only martial artist in the room um, or the guy, like, and also the guy that deadlifts the most and, then they see you smiling they see how nice you are they see then you they no longer like fear you but they look up to you and then they they start to like you and love you so i think that's the image that i personally want to project you know the the, the guy that can fight and also very strong but at the same time like when you talk to people and then when you uh, get to know them you would see that oh they're very nice and you know i can feel at ease or safe with them so it's uh, it's you know like as we say we have a responsibility uh, in our community for our families or for our friends and you know it's best that you always show your good side or use these for the better of yourself and other people and that in a, in a sense translates to the philosophy of um, you know mutual welfare of judo mm -hmm. yeah i would say like the jita kyoe the mutual welfare for self and others so it's very good to also not only show your your physical capabilities when you walk into a room but also show your good character with it i think that's very important too 
you don't want to be feared. I would say it's better to be respected and liked than to be respected out of fear. I don't, I don't, I, I know some, uh, some like uh, sadists, I don't know what you want to call them, but they would actually enjoy that very much to be feared and respected. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, like I'm, I'm the same way. I, I don't think that um, just because you, I, I wouldn't want to be feared. Yeah. But if people are scared of you, like, well, they're not going to, um, um, you know, if people are too scared of you, I mean, that's not a good thing because they'll, they'll, they'll after that, if enough people are scared of you, they're going to set it up so that they'll, they're going to come and take you down because yeah. you're just like, uh, because, because they're afraid of you, you know? So I, I don't yeah. like, to, I like, I don't think it's a good thing to project. I mean, I think uh, it depends on the circumstances. I imagine, you yeah. know, if you're in a situation very, you're, it's a very hostile situation, you know, like you're in jail. Okay. Maybe being feared is, is a good thing to a certain extent. Yeah. There has to be some kind of balance there. I think there would have to be some kind of balance between being feared and respected, because if you're just a scary guy, that's like, cause you're crazy, then well, people are going to be like, okay, we're tired of this crazy guy. Let's gang up on him and just take him out. Right. Yeah. But if you're feared, but you're respected at the same time, then, okay. That would make more sense in the context of being like in, in, in hostile environment. Uh, but for the most part in everyday life, I don't think I like, I don't want anybody to be afraid of me. You know, I no. certainly like respect is, would be great, but, um, yeah. And it, it, it goes down to, it comes down to that saying like, uh, uh, speak softly, carry a big stick. Yeah. You know, and the thing is, it's also an illusion, right? Because nobody's invincible. Even if you have that, that aura of, of strength and, and, you know, you could do something and you're a fighter and all that. The truth is like human life is very fragile. Like yeah. all you have to do is not breathe for a couple of seconds and you, you'll be dead. Well, maybe not a couple of seconds, but you know, you're like, yeah, like, I, I, I know. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, like, like uh, if, exactly, I cut your that... air, if I can't cut your oxygen supply, you, you die. <laughs> yeah. As simple but, as uh, that. Like you just like this. And, yeah. You know, no, no matter how big you are, you can't live without air. That's how fragile we are as human beings. Yeah, yeah. But um, again, like that ties off with the other misconception, like the, the, the strong bodybuilder. But um, it's the same uh, with martial arts. Like, oh, here's like, if someone doesn't know martial arts, oh, he's a judo black belt. Like, whoa, stay away. But um, it's, again, it's uh, the lack of knowledge of these arts. Now, the more you train, the more you know that you don't know and the more you know that how, um, you know, easily some, uh, like uh, how easily uh, you can be taken down or how easily you can be hurt. So it's, uh, again, it, these misconceptions tend to come from the part that doesn't know, basically.